About 10 days ago, I sat in this chair to start watching a show that came highly recommended to me from people that I trust. I thought it would be a cool idea and I thought it would be fun to do a React series just because it was a hot topic. What I didn't know is how engrossed I'd get into this series. It has gotten to the point where I'm thinking about it all day while I listen to Here Kitty Kitty. About seven hours ago, I posted a video about interviews of cast members such as Saf and Rick Kirkham. In that video, I learned some pretty shocking information about Joe. After reflecting though, I realized that you really can't trust anybody. I've said that so many times in the show. No one can be trusted. Don't trust anybody. It's time I take my own advice. The problem is for every issue on the show, there are two seemingly credible people making completely opposite claims. So who do you believe? I honestly have no idea. I actually have lost my mind a little bit about this. It seems like everyone has their own story to spin. At the same time, everyone seems authentic. It's a bizarre thing. This will be the last episode react because today we have episode eight. I am not really excited about this episode just because I know what YouTube does. Uh, YouTube. It's six in the morning. Again. Again. I have very low expectations for this because I know what Netflix does when they have a hit series. They kind of rush to release a kind of filler wrap up episode where people just stand around and talk. I heard that Joe Exotic might even in this so it's kind of like what's the point what's the point without joe exotic honestly i really hope this can answer some questions but although i doubt it will let's get into it and see what they got for us hope it's good hey all you cool cats oh kids. here we go it's me joel mchale it's still and my joke come aware, on i did that first and who is this guy i missed it it's me joel mchale Who's Joel and McHale? All... You know how I know this was rushed? Usually if they introduce someone new, there should be like a thing under his name to say who it is, like director or like pop star, but they didn't have time to edit that in. Oh, just living clean, loving Jesus. What's up with you? Well, he looks bitter. The documentary deeply who is this guy? I gotta look this up. What is it? Joel what? Joel McHale. Joel McHale. Who's Joel McHale? He's a comedian. He's not very funny. Did you wash your glorious hair today? Uh, no. What's the point, you know, if I'm going to get peed on? How has your life changed? I, I haven't seen it, and I need to, because uh, that way I can have at least some semblance of ammunition for some of the things that come out of people's mouths. Yeah, dude, watch it. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it and do interviews so I can watch them. He looks sad. I, like, I don't know what's going on with him. He doesn't look like he's taking this well. I feel like there's someone in the background holding a gun to his head. I could get a cat up the side of a cage so they could be put down and stuff. When you have to do that to a cat, I assume there's a, a medical or, an, uh, or something's going on with the cat that... It, it can't continue to live? Mm, you would think. Oof. No. Have you met the nanny? <laughs> I just saw her booty and that's about it. Oh! <laughs> Do you think Joe should be free? Do you think he should be a free man? No. Not no but no. Wow. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah, he's gonna die in there, so. Yeah. Good riddance. Whoa! Uh, what did he right do to him? You're being compared to Vince Neil. Does, oh, are you God. flattered by that? I <laughs> hate Motley Crue. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy's dark. This is, I like it. it. He's grown on me oh, a little sorry. bit, not gonna lie. Yeah, or, He's just uh, spitting uh, daggers uh, right uh, now at everything. Uh, I hope Eric Cowie well, makes fun Eric, of this guy's comedy, because it's pretty bad. Like, uh, <laughs> you seem like a dang good guy. Speaking Get of micro-expressions, I feel like I'm extra perceptive of micro-expressions now, just having watched the show and like thinking about it and looking at Carol and stuff. I'm seeing everyone's whole life in their faces right now. You seem like a dang good guy. That was insincere. A dang good guy. Yeah, I'm not buying it. He seems awkward too. I feel like they're both being held at gunpoint. Who put the show together? Is the fish and wildlife game? Is the what is it called? The fish and wild. I need to look this up to make this joke. Fish and wildlife division. Is the is the fish and wildlife? <laughs> Forget it. I don't do meth. I never have. I like sleeping too much. I used to have a drinking problem. No, I do not. So ah, f all y'all, man. I don't know what his deal is. I don't know. I don't, I don't know what happened to make him so bitter. In a weird way, I feel like that's the healthiest response that anyone has given. I'm going out on a huge limb right now after everything I've been through. I feel like I can trust Eric Cowie and I know where he's at. <laughs> Please, Eric Cowie, don't let me down. I don't want to like learn about you that you're a liar. I've been through too much. I hope things work out for Eric Cowie. It actually seems like he's a good guy. It's Jeff and Lauren Lowe, everybody. <laughs> Jeff's making the rounds. Thank you. They look like I they're having a big fun. Question for you, Jeff. I'm like Eric right Cowie. Bring in the nanny. Six. And how's the nanny working out? Yes. The nanny's... Excellent. Where is she? Yeah, she's, she's excellent. She's gonna come in. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> I mean, I, I think they tried to sensationalize a story a little bit to give it a villain. And villain is right here. You did say, Jeff, everybody starts out well with you. This is lazily and, edited, and honestly. Like, this is my level of editing. On. Whose brilliant idea was it for Alan to be filmed in the bathtub? 
I yes. Have an answer for this that. is a good when question. We saw that we were like, what the hell is going on? Everybody was like that. Reason, yeah. I feel like he was drunk and coming home and, and like just getting in the bath. Watch? How do you respond to people who say that Joe was set up? You guys saw all the video. Those videos where he's shooting Carol, hanging Carol, blowing Carol up. This is a weak response. I would be willing to hear evidence from Jeff Lowe about how Joe actually did hire the hit. I feel like most people who watch they get the clear sense that Joe's all talk and that most of the things he did about Carol were for attention. There's a really really big divide between making a joke about killing someone and actually trying to kill someone. This answer doesn't address any of the real issues that I think people have with this theory. Uh, Joe killed the tigers. He admitted to killing the tigers. Yeah, Two he said that they were sick. They were they were beautiful healthy tigers that he called over to the fence. The evidence unfortunately is mounting against because he needed the cage space. Joe. So Joe goes out there and he makes the room. Maybe not from credible sources. So, you know, the, take it with a grain of salt, I guess. Garrison implied that he had more dirt on you as he rode off into the sunset on that jet ski to uh, Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> Wasn't that sexy? He was a sexy <laughs> yeah, what was that man. about? Are you worried at all about that? Not at all, because what James Garrison fails to remember, I know why he cooperated yeah. with the feds. Yeah, it wasn't exactly. over a lemur. Yeah. Trust yeah. me. We went to my I trust Jeff on that one. Did you report James Garrison's hairdresser to the feds? <laughs> yeah. Stop. Just stop. I gotta ask. Do you think Carol... Look at that pity laugh from Lauren. I... Did you report James Garrettson's hairdresser to the feds? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you think Carol killed her ex-husband? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, I thought everyone agrees on this one thing. This Nobody disagrees on this point. Nobody. In this show. Except for Carol. And they never even asked Howard what he thought about it. I'd love to see How Howard's reaction. I bet Howard knows. I bet there was a moment in their marriage where Carol goes to Howard. I'm gonna open up to you about my dirty secret. I killed my previous husband. He's like, my only job is to make you happy. <laughs> I would watch a hundred episode documentary on Howard. That's the recap we need, Howard. So they try to associate me to every criminal since El Chapo. Are you saying that you worked with El Chapo? No. Oh, okay, no, I'm joking. Dig the tunnels. <laughs> Lauren's done. John Renke. Good. John Joe Renke is one of Joe's only advocates, I think. On the one hand, he seems like a really decent, genuine guy. On the other hand, it's just like, I really just don't know who to believe anymore. I don't think he's lying, but... Sometimes people just have rose-colored glasses on, especially for people with a lot of magnetism and charisma like Joe. And, and I'm not a star. I mean, I'm just on a documentary. You I can't are. imagine how. You are, man. You're a star, not me. No, I can't no, imagine how y'all deal no, with this every day. No, he's not. He's not. You are. I was a star. 2009 was a big year for me. Everyone seems so... Is he reading from a teleprompter? I don't like this guy. I'm sorry so if you're much. a fan of this guy. Did you I don't, say you were more committed to me the wrong way. He always tried to keep everybody smaller than him. Mm. Right. And did you ever say anything like, well, you don't know how to pick a hairdresser? Yeah. <laughs> Stop with the hair jokes. My no, God. He was always belittling somebody. I mean, always. So he's not advocating for Joe, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, hell, he blew up my golf cart in my damn cabin. I mean... He what? did? Jeff and Dylan got in a fist fight in the back parking lot and they rolled around for 15 minutes. Why wasn't that on tape? That would have been cool. Maybe they do have it on footage and they're saving it for season of. two. There's going to be a movie of you guys, so who should play you? I'm sticking with Matthew McConaughey. To play you? That actually is pretty good. Yes. About jo Matthew McConaughey to play Joe. No. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. No, he actually, that's a great you have a cast. New wife? I have a new girlfriend now. And how's it going? Damn. It's going Ranky great, moves fast. man. I'm the happiest I've ever been in a long time. Ranky seems like one of the good guys. I wish him happiness. And you seem very committed to your job. Were you more loyal to Joe or to the animals? Definitely the animals. It seemed like I was loyal to him, I think, because he was the big head of everything. Joe admitted to shooting some of the tigers outright. Were you outraged by that? Yes. Uh, mm. uh, obviously I was. There we go. Um, but at that point, it's, it's out of my control. Joe always had a way of explaining his actions. I never thought that they should be kept in captivity, um, but I knew the reality of it, and the reality of it is they cannot be returned to the wild, and right. there's not much of a wild for them to return to. Yeah. Sap, you that identify as a sense. man. Were you upset when they kept referring to you as she on the show? I don't think it bothered me as much as it bothered everyone else. Um, I didn't really pay it any mind. A man with a bleached mullet is, who's not an EMT and dressed like one is going to try to save my life. Yeah, I had more uh, pressing priorities to, to worry about. So in my last video, I made fun of Joe. <laughs> Since then, I've seen a new thing that says that Joe actually was the one who saved her life. And also that he wore that EMS jacket frequently. Like I said, for every issue, there's two conflicting stories. Neither would surprise me. Was it awkward with the cat afterwards? He didn't look at your right arm and start licking his chops or anything? <laughs> Not in front <sighs> of me, no. Can you tell us the story of the Thanksgiving dinner? Was there more to that than we saw? Yes, Good question. there definitely Finally. was. You know, they showed him serving it, but they never explained what he was doing. He fed people for free a full Thanksgiving dinner that him and his family cooked for the entire night prior. I think that came across. I don't Every think that single was a year mystery. since I've been there. Um, and I've oh, been there nice. for almost 10 years. 
I've seen him give the jacket off his back for people. And I think that wasn't highlighted enough. Joe mm-hmm. did a lot of messed up stuff. And that's a fact. And that's shown. And now the entire world knows it. But he did a lot of good things. Who that's kind of my opinion of him at this again. moment. Great guy. A lot of great personality traits. Very charismatic. Very ambitious. Very hardworking. Very capable. Big dreams. Moments of extreme generosity. The ability to overcome incredible adversity and hardship. Yet, does terrible things, is narcissistic, seeks the spotlight, uses people. He's a complicated character, and I think that's probably partly why this show is so successful, is that he's such a dynamic person and has such incredible range. Joe did a lot of messed up stuff, but he did a lot of good things too. Who would you trust first again? Joe Exotic or the tiger who bit your arm off? The tiger. I never stopped trusting the tiger. (laughs) Do you think Mm -hmm. that Joe deserves to be in jail? I think uh, justice was served, but I still don't want to see that man die in prison. Interesting. Now, Very interesting. Who should play you? That's a great question. I mean, the kid who played Johnny Tsunami just because of looks. Right. <laughs> I'm going to pitch Ken Jong that he should... Uh, Stop. He's gonna that have would to have be a lot so amazing. Stop. <laughs> that would he's be so Because you're very young, and so, but uh, he's he's a very old man, so he's going to have to... What the hell are you talking about? I hate this guy more and more. He's Joe Exotic's campaign manager, Josh Dial. Yes! Josh, One of my favorite characters. I love Josh Dial. Hey, Don't let me down, Josh. The, the way they did this documentary, it's fair, it's balanced, and I just think it's a wonderful production. Wow. Right. I mean, I, it's funny Interesting. Jeff Lowe has a lot of issues about how it's put together. Well, mm. the truth hurts. The truth oh. hurts. <laughs> You obviously, the lions every morning, they did their roars about seven, eight o'clock in the morning. All the windows in the house would rattle. Yeah, Kirkham talked about that too. It sounds really cool. I only have two lions here in my house in Studio City, California. That's not nearly as cool. Did Joe ever try <laughs> another pity laugh? I love amazing. these pity yeah. laughs. This I is only... so sad. I... This, this show has enough emotion in it without me feeling bad for the comedian. We have two lions here in my house in Studio Look at this City, pity California. laugh. I love it. That's not nearly <laughs> as cool. Did Joe ever try anything romantically with you? Oh my you? god, it's so good. I'm sorry. I gotta see it again. I only have two <laughs> here in my house in Studio City, California. That's not nearly as cool. Did Joe ever try anything romantically with you? That's so bad. No. No. What was that? Two lions here in my house in Studio City, California. <laughs> he doesn't really even try. That's not nearly as cool. Did Joe ever try anything with you? He barely even attempts a laugh. Oh no. my god. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. That made this documentary worth it. That made this whole episode worth it. <laughs> my respect for Dial just went up so much. You can't bullshit a libertarian, man. They've been to hell and back already. They're not falling for your lame-ass jokes. You were in the room when Travis shot himself. Tell us about that. Well, there we go, to See, the dark place. Is, I had to go in that office every day and sit in that same chair and look at that bullet hole in the wall every day for oh, a year and a half that's rough. after Travis killed himself. And I never was able to get counseling because Joe didn't help me and neither did Jeff Lowe. What my plan is, is hopefully I'm going to be able to raise some money um, enough to get me some counseling, get on my meds. And once I'm back stable and ready to go, I want to jump back into campaigning for sure. Do you think Carol's Sanctuary, as it's called, do you think that's a better uh, setup than Joe's Carol gets zoo, or thrown under the bus in three, as, uh, two, one. They're the same. They're all the same. <laughs> all these animal folks are the same. All they care about is that money. Do you think he even knows the scope of oh, yeah. his fame now? He's communicating with some of his old fans and he's having them run Facebook pages. He's getting all the, the messages people are sending, all the money people are raising for him. He's oh, getting wow. all that. He's yeah, making he's, money. He's in the loop on this and he's loving every minute of it. On camera, you said, uh, fuck the feds. Are yeah, you... fuck the feds. <laughs> Damn. Are you worried about saying stuff like that at all? Why should yeah, I be worried? I, I mean, I am definitely. It definitely gives me some worry. The federal government has failed us on so many levels. So, you know, I have no problem saying it once again. The feds. Their paychecks come from us. Their tax money that they blow it comes from us. So I feel like I have ever rise to American citizens say, the feds, do your job. You heard it, folks. There's something different looking about you. Poor John Finley. He keeps oh, having to right. answer You're questions wearing about shirt. his teeth. Uh, no, I'm kidding. And congrats and on the your shirt. teeth look amazing. Has Tiger King mania reached Norway? Let me just show you. This is just the paper, <laughs> the newspaper that came out yesterday. Oh, no. I like how he had just had that in his hands. Uh, I can't even take a walk down at the fjord without so the many... The fjord? About three months in, I began to see him do things to animals that uh, that I knew was wrong. Here it is again. As I have admitted, the guy was a cruel man. I'll be honest with you. I don't think Joe Exotic will leave prison alive. 
What did you think of Joe's supposed plot to kill Carol? I mean, he asked me to kill Carol one time. But, uh, you know, <laughs> no, no. Like Joe, he's like, I'll make you a rich man if you'll kill Carol. I, too, was sucked in to the, the, the surreal world of Joe Exotic. I want to put this wow. chapter away, but it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. There's something you still got to deal with then. Who would you like to play you? I think the one person that's been brought up is Billy Bob Thornton. I think oh, he that's, might make a good that's not bad. A... There you have it. I hope this satisfied your hunger for more stories from eh. the wild world of Tiger eh. King. Did it? We learned a lot today. We discovered Did that we? Joe... And most importantly, we learned that there is no job offer that I'll turn down. Finally, some sense for this guy. Alright, that's about what I expected. Honestly, that does clear a few things up for me. I have some closure. The first takeaway for me is that that guy Joel is an idiot and he's not funny at all. The second thing is that you gotta be really careful what you believe. You gotta be really careful what narrative paths you're led down and what you choose to believe. It seems that there's a lot of misinformation in this, and there are a lot of different sides, and it's hard to tease them apart because most of them seem like reasonable, credible people, but they all have some kind of axe to grind. I think that there's no black and white answers to this. I think that it's a very difficult, complex situation, and there's a lot of nuance, and the people and characters are all very complicated. I have a lot of admiration for Joe. As I mentioned earlier, I think he has a lot of really amazing traits that are, that are great and that everyone should aspire to. It doesn't surprise me, though, that he did great evil. I think that it's just reality that he was a very flawed person with a lot of really incredible traits and an amazing life. I feel a little bit better now after watching this, surprisingly. Uh, that's good. It's one good thing that came out of this. I think I have the answers that I need to continue with my life. So this is going to be my last Tiger King video until season two comes out and until the movie comes out or the fictional series or whatever it's going to be. I'm 100% doing videos on that. But yeah, thank you again for coming along with me on this really bizarre journey. It's taken a toll on me, but it's been a journey. It's been a real ride. And I think that I've learned a lot about myself from this. And right or wrong, I think the directors, producers, everyone involved, they put together a really compelling show. So that's it for me. Who knows? I guess on to the next trending Netflix thing. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Is the Fish and Wildlife Division behind this video? <laughs> Are you being held at gunpoint?